everyone. Welcome to Kids Church Online and week four of our emoji series. The Bible says that we need to be slow to anger, especially with other people. God doesn't want us to yell at our friends or our parents. He wants us to listen. He wants us to live at peace with everyone as much as possible. This week's emoji face is the angry face emoji. Some people think that anger is a bad emotion. They think that God wants us to always be happy and never ever lose our temper. But that's simply not true. God created anger just like he created every other emotion. But as we've learned in the past couple weeks, there's a right time and a wrong time to be angry. Last week we saw Jesus sad, but in this week's lesson, we see Jesus get really angry. What was Jesus so angry about? Let's watch and see. During Passover, many people came to Jerusalem to worship at the temple. They would bring animals with them to sacrifice to God. They did this to ask forgiveness for their sins. Some of the temple officials were dishonest and greedy and saw a great business opportunity. They decided to start selling animals and many other things so they could make a lot of money. The temple became more like a flea market than a house of God. Jesus also celebrated the Passover and went to the temple with his disciples. When he saw how people were turning God's house into a marketplace, he became very angry and sad. The temple was supposed to be a place where God was worshipped, a place where people could pray to God. Instead, these people made a mockery of it. Jesus, filled with righteous anger, decided to put an end to it. He made himself a short whip, perfect for driving stubborn animals, and went inside to clear out all the animals and shopkeepers. Once inside, he grabbed tables and flipped them over. He kicked over benches and tossed aside stools. He freed the doves and set the goats and sheep free. The money changers and merchants were outraged. What in the world are you doing? Who gave you the right to do this? They shouted in anger. Get out, Jesus shouted. Don't turn my father's house into a den of thieves, he said. Some of the merchants were furious at Jesus and could not wait to get rid of him. Jesus knew that they had wicked hearts and that they did not serve God. He wanted to teach them a lesson. When the people saw this, they were very surprised. Who is this Jesus? With what authority does he do these things, they said. So many of the lame and sick people came to Jesus, and he healed them. When the priests and scribes saw this, they were jealous and mad. Jesus was not afraid of them. He continued to do God's work, telling people about God's love and doing many miracles. So why was Jesus so angry? He was angry because of sin. Jesus was angry because the people were using the church as a marketplace to sell things, and the church is meant to be a place of worship. So when does Jesus want us to get angry? Jesus wants us to get angry about the same things he got angry about. When we see people being mistreated or in need and no one is helping. Jesus wants us to be angry enough to do something about it. More than anything, Jesus wants us to get angry about the bad habits we have and the bad things we do. Jesus wants us to get angry about sin. Just like he went in and cleaned house in the temple, he wants us to clean house in our hearts. How do we do that? We tell God when we've got an angry face, when we've done something wrong, and then we ask him to help us turn from our sin. It's time for our serious Bible verse. Do you remember what it is? Let's do it together, ready? Don't be like the people of this world, but let God change the way you think. Romans 12, 2a. It's your turn, ready? Don't be like the people of this world, but let God change the way you think. Romans 12, 2a. Great job, boys and girls. Quiet.
detectives. Tiptoe. Look high. Look low. Reach out. Don't shout. Look out and find. We search for the clues. God gives us the truth. Because he loves me. Because he loves you. Detectives. Tiptoe. Look high. Look low. Reach out. Don't shout. Look out and us clean our hearts every day. He wants us to get the sin out of our lives so we can live in a way that makes him happy and helps others. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for creating us with so many different emotions. Lord, help us to be slow to get angry and help us turn to you to help clean our hearts so that we can live a life that's pleasing to you. We love you and we praise you and all God's children said, Amen. <laughs>